Great, part four is ready. Monitoring guide. This is where we left off in part three with MSI afterburner loaded and displaying our requested items. So why choose these? You may have noticed when setting up the monitoring that there are many things we could monitor, even the Intel CPU. The tutorial is aimed for the graphics side of the Razer, and I'll split these into two distinct sections. One, what's being used, and two, limits reached within the card. Section one, what's being used. GPU usage. Are we pushing it, or has it got more grunt left in it? You don't really want this to be maxed out at 100%, because you're thinking, oh, in two, three years time, this thing isn't going to be adequate. Temperature. Room to increase before we or the GPU becomes unhappy, or is it too high and needs to be lowered? And too high could just mean that we don't like it being hot on our lap, etc. Cool clock speed. This is like the Intel CPU. The higher it is, the more performance you get, or also the more heat you get. Vid usage. It's a built-in hardware encoder and decoder, and you only see it when you're playing video, streaming, or converting one. And when I'm saying streaming, that's like Netflix, video browsers, etc. Memory clock speed. This is like file storage, but for screen frames. So the graphics card creates the frame in the memory, and then says, I want it now, so you can display it. If it's not ready when it's actually trying to write to it or read from it, your FPS will lower. Section two, limits reached. So first up, temp limit. If you haven't reached the temperature limit, it's great. If you have reached it, oh, that's bad. Very bad indeed. Voltage limit. There's two states for voltage limit, very low or full on. Just because it's actually on isn't an issue. It just means it's actually running at the correct voltage. Power limit. There's a maximum wattage that these graphics cards will work to. If you're reaching it, then you're overclocking it somewhere and you're not actually getting any more performance. So you might just as well reduce it a bit until this power limit goes. You might not be able to do it, but it's worth trying. Oh, we've reached the end of part four. See you in part five. And don't forget, subscription gives me instruction to create more content. Please subscribe. Thanks very much. Bye.